And that's what it's going to be on that glorious day when Christ comes. And we're going to be caught in the air to meet him. And it's like two lovers coming together. What hope we have. Suppose we didn't have a Bible. Suppose we had no salvation, no cross, no empty tomb. Suppose we had nothing to give except do your best, try to patch it up, do, do what you can. But we have a hope. There's a plan in this book of redemption. God has a plan for the future. And the future is all outlined. Your future. And God is interested in you. How shall you escape if you neglect this salvation? If you neglect Jesus Christ, no, maybe you're not going to reject Christ, you just neglect. Oh, you'll join a church, all right. Maybe you're already a member of the church, but as far as your personal relationship with Christ, you just neglect him. You really don't have time for it. He's not first in your life. Something else is first. He demands first place.